In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over markers in Studio 1.3 Artist. This will pretty much be the same for any Studio 1.3. Uh, Studio 1.2 and 1 are a little bit different, but the way you work markers is there's this little tab up here in your uh, hier hierarchy, I think it's what it's called. You can click this little flag button, which is going to display the markers. So you obviously, in the beginning, you have a start and an end, so you can move them around just by clicking on them and dragging them. It's that simple. And this, the start and end markers will usually represent uh, for the export of the song how, how much of the actual track it exports, how many bars. And the way you make a new marker is you just click this little plus button and it'll make a marker wherever you're uh, going to undo that because uh, I'll go over here and hit plus so you can actually see it. It says number two, you just double tap it to get the name. And I'll say, let's say it's a verse one. And then I can come over here and put chorus. So you know this is the first one and this is the cur the chorus. Did not want to do that though. I wanted to hit plus here. So now you say this is all anything in between these two will be curse one or verse one, or you can you know, say verse one end. It doesn't really matter what you write, it's just kind of up to you. I usually write chorus, and so it'll say verse one, chorus, then over here would be verse two, chorus, etc until the end just so you can kind of see what you're looking at it just kind of helps then uh, to delete them you just hit the minus button and yeah it's that simple so yeah thanks for watching